These are the, the tools of our trade. And let's begin with um, the vise. This is uh, the Thompson A. And I bought this about 50 years ago when I just got started. Very basic, very sturdy. Um, it uses a lever and a cam and the hook goes right in here and this uh, opens and closes. It's very, very good. This is uh, a more modern one, a Regal. Um, and it has a lever on the side here and you just squeeze that lever and you can see the, the mouth of the uh, jaws open and close. I use this uh, Thompson for my flies that are small, like 20s, 22s, 24s, this for everything else. Over here is um, the uh, vise that we uh, use at uh, Healing Water. It's a very good vise. It uses the same kind of action as the Thompson A, but you can uh, flip it around and rotate it, which is a good thing, and I like it because it has a base on it, and it's a heavy base. It's a great vise. And the, this is the toolkit that we have uh, for uh, all of our tires at Healing Water. Now, these are my tools that we use, and I use them on every fly. Uh, my scissors, I notice they have big, large holes here to, um, for our big fingers to, to put in. And very sharp points, very nice quality, nice quality uh, uh, scissors. These are uh, called the bobbins, and they uh, hold the thread. And... Uh, when we wind. This is the bobbin uh, threader. This is, uh, you put it down the end there and uh, and pull out the thread. That's how you get it to thread up that chute. And, and um, our um, threads come in all different kinds of colors and sizes and shapes. Uh, I have all my thread over here in this beautiful little box and, um, and I can just find whatever I need. Over here now, we have a hackle pliers. You can still see a piece of the tip of a hackle. We put it in the tip and wind it around. We'll demonstrate that later. We have botkins, uh, sharp points. But this one, I took the point and I, um, I bent it. And I bent it so that I could come up and take and pull out um, some of the material uh, from dubbing and makes like makes the legs on a fly. This over here is the famous and some might say infamous whip finisher. It's actually quite easy to use when you learn how to use it. You really got to practice on this so that it becomes very easy. And this is a hair stacker for deer hair and elk hair and other things. And um, it's kind of fun to use. These are the tools that we use to tire flies.